I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> Then the fifth time... He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. <clears throat> Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe? was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son... When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with... Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Hey, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like, it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. 
Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. you shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? That's it. Wake's over. Everyone, out. Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Yeah, well, sort of. I used to. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We.
they kept it. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Love that Gabe was going to be part of a LARP would have been one of the happiest memories I have. Thanks, Gabe. find out what's really going on with Steph. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion. Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst! Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? Give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait. Hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Badass. I 
think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. I could put on a record, if you like. Nah, not really in the mood. Maybe something else? Can I get you a drink or anything? No, thanks. I appreciate the offer, though. Sure. That wasn't right. Want to get a few matches of Dino Racer in? Could be a nice distraction. No, thanks. I just need a minute. That didn't help. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Wait, hold on. The crowd is really picking up on my energy. Ah, we love you, Alex! Ah, Strip socks! Ah. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> I want a rematch. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. 
good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. Let's do one more game. I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would never let a tie stand. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it. For all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on. No matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> yeah. Girls are pretty rad, right? Especially girls that play foosball and host radio stations and wear beanies like it's a religion. <laughs> Sounds like a winning combo. Who's what? What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. Oh, oh fucking finally! <laughs> the house of Chen crumbles at last! Game. Thank you. You're a much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? No question. I knew he was a jerk, but this is another level. I think I need to prove that he's lying. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye.
I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize. For all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty hairy, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. As long as I like? Really? I don't want to make any assumptions or put any pressure on you about what to do next, but you're always welcome. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> idea what to even say to him.
Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop. But I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Oh, you heard about the accident. Was it on the news? No, no one's been fired. Yet. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. I wonder if I'm dreaming. Everything feels so strange now. Under this old town sky. I wonder if there's still meaning. In all the things I'm feeling. Should I see? Yes, Mom. I, I still have a job at Typhoon. Hey, Pike. Hey! Um, how you holding up? Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. Insert epiphany about new beginnings here. Bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys don't think anything's really gonna change, right? It's hard to say. Yeah, because they won't tell us a damn thing. I just still can't wrap my head around it. Someone died? It's a shit situation, but the least they could do is be upfront with us about our job security. Exactly. I just hope the council passes the vote. So, anyone seen Loudon? Not since his shift that night. Poor son of a bitch. <laughs> we should get him a beer sometime. Excuse me.
might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. It's fine. I love being on hold. I love this song. Finally. Cancel AAA membership. No, I, I said cancel. Cancel! Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Representative. Representative! A person. I just want to talk to a person. It's fine. I love being on hold. I love this song. Finally. Cancel AAA membership. No, I, I said cancel. Cancel! Not Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Still haven't found Mac. Jed suggested I check the flower shop. Job ranch. Did you buy your chicken coop? Too bad I can't just run away from all this. I don't get it. Do people just not- Sorry. I don't get it. Do people just not want- Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Three days a week we'll be able to scrape by. Is that it? Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. 
I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Stormrather looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike, but first, a few announcements. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different than this time. Pirate Peaches is making an actual profit, remember? Vaughn still need to check the flower shop for Mac. How do those words taste? Not like peaches. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... I'm okay, I guess? Taking it one moment at a time. It's the best way to be. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this.
Okay, time to figure out why she's afraid. All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. Doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. If they know about my condition. They'll make me close this place. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out, out, she can't, she can't find, out. find out. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Holy shit. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Who is that, Who is girl? that girl? The memory is gone. Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I, I don't want to keep you. Hey, I... I want to help. Okay, what would Eleanor have done first? Did you trim these flowers today? I... don't remember.
Did anything happen with Riley? You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Did you maybe call someone? I can't say for sure. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Did you trim these flowers today? I... don't remember. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Did you trim these flowers today? I... Don't remember. Did anything happen with Riley? I... I don't know. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. That order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. It should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan. Huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex, you're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember.
They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake? I... missed it. Sorry. Hey, it's, um... Excuse me. <laughs> okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. She's really hurting but I didn't want to lie to her. <laughs> 